a beautiful piece of aviation technology. Caffeinated apple pie. Yeah. But the question yet to be answered is... Oh, that's delicious. Is it the most difficult to fly and land? These guys fly these planes upwards of 12 to 14 hours at a time. Mmm. Yep, and after such mammoth flight times... You must have some butt shimmying exercises you do to keep yourself from going numb during long flights. I call it building your ass callus. <laughs> Comes the landing. Righty. Ready to begin the descent? This is where the rubber meets the runway. You start by dropping the gear so you'll feel a little bit of a clunk. And perhaps the biggest challenge facing any pilot anywhere. Two gear down and locked. Now I'm going to bring the throttle back. The Dragon Lady lands tailwheel first at a speed that practically stalls the wing. And with only two sets of landing gear in the center of the fuselage, it's like landing a bicycle. The pilot has lowered the landing gear and implemented several procedures to add drag so that it's moving slow enough when we get to the runway that we can actually land. That's not all. There's the ground effect. The U-2's high aspect ratio wings and commensurate uplift means that on final approach, it tends to float, requiring incredible skill to control. There's also the issue of runway visibility. This is a chase car, and it's being driven by an actual U-2 pilot because the pilot in the plane has such limited visibility that he can't even see the runway when he's down close to it. This pilot is going to be talking him down with foot-by-foot -foot instructions so that he can respond appropriately at the right time. Then we got our threshold speed, we had entered two, three, zero, zero, down to two until established. And now this is the fun part, this is the part where I earned the big uh, YouTube pilot bonus money. <laughs> So we have one guy rolling out on final ahead of us. Yeehaw. We are gear down, flaps full, speed brakes out, stall strips deployed, lights on, and spoilers in the landing position. Configured and ready for landing. Forty to the T. Look at that. He's required by tradition to say very nice, whether it is or not. Oh, okay. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks, Adam. Now there's our big old reception committee. All right, throttle off. All right, editors, if you could give us a little montage of some of the astonishing things we've gotten to do in the course of doing Mythbusters. Welcome back. I'm thinking flying a rocket car across the desert. Watching the rocket sled accelerate to the speed of sound and hit the immovable wall. That was awesome! <laughs> Sliding down a 200-foot water slide 70 feet through the air into a target. Oh, like <laughs> this tops all of those by a factor of two. That was unbelievable, unrepeatable, incredible. I'm out of superlatives. I have just spent the last two hours strapped to a rocket, wearing a spacesuit, flying to the edge of our Earth's atmosphere and seeing my hometown from a vantage point. Wow, it's a great view of the bridge. It is an incredible view. That was completely unique. So Adam, how do you figure we're gonna call this? Because, I mean, this is supposed to be the most difficult plane to fly, but we haven't looked at any other planes. Okay, but we did learn